China officially unveils Yu-20, air refueling aircraft derived from the Y-20. The Yu-20 is the air refueling variant developed from the Y-20 strategic airlifter, and was first shown officially on video while conducting maneuvers alongside PLA Air Force fighter jets. According to the Global Times news site, China's next-generation tanker, the Yu-20, has begun to be incorporated into combat readiness training, as the aircraft is expected to bolster the long-range operational capabilities of other warplanes, a spokesman for China's People's Liberation Army Air Force announced. Colonel Shen Jinki was in charge of the official presentation of the Yu-20 during a press conference with local media. The Yu-20 is a tanker variant of the Y-20 transport aircraft developed in China. In the video, you can see how the Yu-20 performs aerial refueling exercises over the sea with the J-16 fighter aircraft, aiming for a realistic level of tactical training, given its imminent deployment to support patrol missions over the Taiwan Strait. As China's new generation tanker aircraft, the Yu-20 can effectively enhance the Air Force's long-range operational activities while maintaining the same functionality as the Y-20 transport aircraft in airlift missions, Colonel Shen said. Although this is the first official presentation of the Yu-20 by the PLA Air Force, the existence of the tanker aircraft has been widely known to the general public due to its previous missions around the island of Taiwan. On November 28, 2021, a total of 27 Chinese transport and cargo aircraft, including a Yu-20 tanker, entered the air defense identification zone in southwestern Taiwan Island, the island's defense authorities said in a press release at the time. The Yu-20 brings PLA Air Force a much-needed capability. By receiving aerial refueling, warplanes can have a longer range and or operating time, making the tanker aircraft an essential means of projecting power. This capability is, for now, limited in the PLA Air Force, as its tanker fleet consists of only two dozen H-6U, H-6 Badger medium bombers converted to tankers, and a trio of ex-Ukrainian Eel-78 Midas, which apparently would already only be performing cargo transport missions. The H-6As are very limited tankers, being able to carry a maximum of 18.5 tons of fuel to refuel other aircraft, compared to the 90T that a KC-135 can carry by integrating two large fuel tanks in the former bomb bay. As the Chinese Air Force plans to maintain and increase its presence around the island of Taiwan and, indeed, throughout the entire first island chain, it is imperative that it increase and modernize its in-flight refueling capability. The addition of the Yu-20 is critical to China's foreign policy and strategic projection plans. The PLA Air Force's in-flight refueling capability is going to be increased and modernized very significantly with this aircraft. And further down the road, China is likely to develop a tanker version of its future CR-929 airliner, on which it is working with Russia, to compete with Airbus and Boeing products in the long-haul market. Thank you for watching please like, share, comment, and subscribe.